Welcome everyone to One Piece Ocean Fire 8. We're gonna play this house game for the first time. I'm so sorry if I said the name wrong of the game. Please tell me in the comments down below how to actually pronounce this game correctly. Anyway, a lot of you told me I should actually do a first impressions on this game and I thought, why not? So in this first impressions, we're gonna check out how the game looks like, how the mechanics are, and of course, how fun the game is. If you wanna try it out yourself, there is a link in the description so you can play it yourself. So the first thing you will be greeted with once you actually join the game is this awesome looking lobby screen so you got the game name over here then you got start customize and in the bottom you could follow friends by player idea so the first thing we're gonna do is of course press the customization and we're gonna customize the character a little bit I played around a little bit before with the customization that's why it already looks a little bit different in total you have 10 types of everything so you have 10 types of primary hair secondary has of course the same but a little bit differently placed you got 10 types of colors each you got 10 shirts and a lot of skin colors you got a decent amount of faces we're gonna try to pick one that actually suits our character a little bit because the customization itself is decent big it's not super big but it has a fair amount of customization what we can actually do so we are gonna go with this one I think this one uh, suits best. Now we're gonna pick a pants that we wanna use. We wanna try to stick around with the channel colors a little bit. So we have to pick really, really carefully what we're actually gonna do. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, black jeans. And then we got some accessories. And that's actually also pretty cool. So we can wear hats, a parrot if we want to. I think I'm gonna go with an eye patch because that just looks awesome. So here we go. We did our character and we're gonna press start. So we're gonna go towards loading towards the game. So let's hope it's gonna be amazing. Also for the people wondering, yes, the game music is of course muted because we do not know if anything is copyrighted. So we are spawning in and we have a giant, giant blue explosion going on. So I'm kind of wondering what that's all about. But it seems like my hair didn't really load in sadly enough. So I'm going to try to press the reset button to actually see if my character will load in correctly this time. Because I would be a little bit sad that I will never have hair so it seems like my character will be bald forever so yeah that's kind of sad to see but it seems like the left link system is kind of easy you just click and you use your moves to get some stats and all that kind of stuff so we got melee sword gun and a devil fruit we're leveling our melee currently we got a floating person flying towards us and that was a little bit scary but um we also got some skills so um hi there Hi there. Okay, that I, I should probably not fight that person because he seems a little bit strong. So we got level 15 melee to get a black leg style party table kick at 30 and so on. So the game itself seems a little bit easy compared with just farming and they won't really disappear. There we go. So all you want to do in the beginning once you actually join the game is simply just click. Like, the game itself is just keep on clicking, keep on clicking till you actually level up. So the leveling system itself is a little bit simple. And I would have liked to see that a little bit different. Like, a lot of people actually enjoy this kind of leveling style. But in my opinion, I find this leveling style a little bit boring. So, yeah. My hair won't load. It's kind of sad. Hey, that's Roots. Hey, Roots. 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 I, I only just joined the game and I'm already getting attacked. I'm like... Go away. Okay, please help me, man. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, he is a little bit of a higher level, it seems like. So we're gonna spawn in a boat, but sadly enough, we have been killed by a higher level person. So it seems like there is no low level spawn protection on this game and that's also a little bit of a downside because a lot of times if a higher level will try to kill you you can simply do nothing against it like you just have to watch and just 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 run like that's all you can do just run for your life and hope for the best so we're gonna try to take a boat right now and we're just gonna sail away so we got a boat so let's see what is the driver's seat okay this is the driver's seat so here we go so let's see what kind of stuff that's actually in the game and that dude looks really really cool he's actually floating away he looks pretty awesome and i wish i can get his stuff as well later on because that just looks awesome oh the music just changed 
You probably won't hear that yourself, but the music itself actually sounds pretty, pretty awesome. Also, underneath my face cam, there's a live uh, HP bar. If you want to see it right now, you can actually look at it. It itself looks pretty awesome, the design. And so far, I'm kind of okay with this game. We can actually punch inside our boat as well, so we are going to do that right now. So we're just going to start punching the boat. Hopefully we do not destroy the boat, because that would be a little bit of a downside. We actually got the lead ship in the bottom of our right side of the screen, so we definitely do not want to press that, so... Let's see what we have. The music itself is, I think, from One Piece, I'm not completely sure, but it sounds awesome. So we have a random tsunami going on over there. Yeah. Yeah, the game itself is just... Keep clicking, and at one point you will become better. At one point. Like, at one day, you will be. Okay. So we got an area over there. But I think I should just go towards that cloudy area over there. Maybe we can actually find a fruit over there. Because I don't know how it actually works with the fruits in this game. Because can you just find them on every island? Do you have a rare chance to actually have one? Or does every island always have one? And everyone just goes to the best one. I have no idea. But the boats itself actually move decent fast, and that's also really good to see because it's always so boring when your boat barely would move at all. So, and that's pretty good, that's pretty good. I actually enjoyed the game quite a bit. I would recommend it already. Like, if you like these kind of games, yes, play it. And that's a blue thing, like, it keeps appearing and disappearing randomly, and I have no clue what it's actually causing that, but we definitely do not want to find out, I think. Because it seems kind of OP. If you get hit by it, you kind of die, I think. Like, something like that. Oh, no, our boat stopped. No! There we go. Boat's moving again. Woo! Okay. So, we got a snowy area over there. And it seems like over there we actually got a cave system. So, I'm just gonna go towards the snowy area and see what actually is spotable over there. Um, there is a lot of kind of islands in the game, and I like that. Like, there's a nice amount of exploration in the game, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, yeah. Oh, particle snow. Oh, yeah, this music's awesome. You actually have to play the game just to listen to the music. It's it's awesome. I, I kind of like it a lot. Okay. So, we are at our first island over here. It's going to be a snow island, so... Let's see what we will find here. If I can get up, of course. How do we... Oh, no. I'm not tall enough. Oh, okay, never mind, I am. I'm just perfectly tall enough. Meanwhile, we're just gonna keep on clicking, so we will actually level up a little bit. So that's gonna be a really, really good combo at the same time. So, yeah, we're gonna just explore and see what this game actually has to offer for us. Okay, and that's, that's the end of our exploration, guys. Because we can't climb that. There's a chest over there. I want the chest. No. No, I want the chest. Okay, um. There must be a letter of some sort somewhere, right? Okay, that's just me. That's just teasing. Look at that. There's so many chests around here. Let me get up. Okay, let's press every button. Let's see if that's actually a, like, a hidden jump button. No? No hidden jump buttons? Oh, I would have... Not mine's a jump button, to be honest. It seems like we have no fruits around here. So we are just gonna go and continue to see on another island. Maybe we're gonna be a little bit more lucky over there. Who knows, who knows. We never know till we actually do that. And those are some giant explosions in the background. So here we go. I'm gonna turn around the boat. Here we go. Back to adventure. You know? It's adventure time. So we are gonna go towards that island over there. Maybe we're gonna be a little bit more lucky once we actually get there. Who knows? Who actually knows? Because we never know if we will be, so. Sailing itself takes some time if you maybe have noticed, but lucky enough it's not super long. And the game itself is actually getting a little bit more filled up with the moment when I'm actually recording this, Roblox was completely dead. There were like 20 people in total actually playing the game, so. Yeah, Rip Arena on that, to be honest, but it could have been worse. At least the games work finally again, so at least I can make this now. Oh, okay. 
so we are gonna go towards the town over here so far i didn't really meet any sort of npcs sadly enough and actually it would be really cool to actually find some npcs that you can actually fight or is the game all player versus player based if so then we have to do a lot of leveling and a lot of training to make our character actually work well so he's actually strong enough to fight anything okay the music suddenly changed to something more dramatic so i got a feeling something is here i don't know what but i'm level 11 so i'm ready to take on everything I'm actually not. I'm actually not ready to take on everything. Okay. Shift lock works in this game. I'm kind of happy about that. Oh, a chest! Ooh, chest, 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 chest. What are you? Okay. A random duffel fruit. Oh, no. I'm not going to spend 500 Robux for a duffel fruit. Even if it's random. I'm probably just gonna do some farming maybe in the future to actually look around for that. So we got some coins. It actually seems like the chest gave us 300 cash. Let's see again. Boom! 320 cash again. Awesome, 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 awesome. Well, it seems like the devil fruits will be as rare as possible. So we have to do a good job to actually find one, sadly enough. But. It's going to be a possible thing. I think it's going to be a possible thing. So if you want to see more of this game, be sure you press the like button because that shows that you guys enjoy it. And I will definitely play this more if you, of course, want to see these kind of gameplays. Because I always think people find it boring to just see me sail around, talk a little bit, level up a little bit, and maybe fight for someone randomly. And yeah, I don't know what people prefer. I really do not know anymore these days. So, again, if you want to see more of this game, be sure you press the like button and everyone please say it with me. Three, two, one, peace out. Yeah, and my boat is sinking, so that's great. Woo!